Yeah, they're they're zipping around. Um, I, I think on. I think on ground track they're going about seventeen thousand five hundred kilometers when they're at ISS's uh, orbital altitude. If, yeah. Uh, that that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, seven, I think it's 17,500 miles an hour. I'm sorry, miles so per hour. Thank it's, you. It's still extremely fast. So if you look just above the hatch, you see that ISS-20 flag. Uh, that is representing the 20th anniversary of the International Space Station, which we will actually be celebrating later this year. Uh, so for the past 20 years, I, I like to explain it to people as if you are under 20 years of age, you've never lived a day without humans in space. So for the past 20 years, we've had continuous human presence aboard the International Space Station. It's truly international. We have um, obviously our two upside down friends we see, they're getting a better look inside uh, by, by turning in that direction. Uh, they are from Roscosmos, the Russian space agency. Looks like they are taking out the inner module ventilation. Uh, that helps equalize the air in between Dragon's capsule and the rest of the International Space Station. Yeah, that's right. Actually, while Dragon has been attached to the space station, most of its operations have been in what we call quiescent mode. So that's really just a low power state where we've only got monitoring on the thermal system, the propellant system, taking a look at some parameters uh, in case we were to see anything that would trigger uh, the Dragon's onboard automation to wake the vehicle up and let ground operators know something needs to be addressed. Um, the light, the onboard life support system is actually only used when we close the hatches uh, and for brief periods when we are configuring the vehicle when we first arrive and uh, periods when we're leaving, like right now. So that duct that they pull out, the, the intermodule ventilation duct, um, that actually provides clean, breathable air and circulates the air in the, in the capsules uh, and providing that air from the International Space Station. And it looks like hatch closure is soon to be underway. Houston and Hawthorne from Endeavor Still for working closing to take the forward out hatch. Some, uh, equipment inside, drag and move it back into the space station. Yeah, so as part of those activities, uh, moving the intermodule ventilation duct, uh, they activated, of course, the lithium hydroxide uh, scrubbers on board Dragon. Cap and fan has been running. And uh, I think we're just waiting on confirmation of hatch closure. Yes, and I think they just called down that they are working on that, putting that into motion. We're getting one step closer to sending Bob and Doug home. Closed for Endeavor. SpaceX copies. And Houston copies. 